Thank you for choosing the iSpring RO500 4F Series Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System. Please follow the video for proper installation instructions. Before we begin, ensure that all parts are included in the package your system arrived in. Carefully read the User Information section in the manual and make sure you have all the required tools ready. Installation Feed Water Adapter RO500 4F Series RO systems are designed for under-sink water use. Please clean out the space under the sink before installation. The feed water adapter fits common half-inch and 3 8 inch connectors. If you have a different size fitting, you will need a converter. Step 1. Turn off the cold water supply valve under the sink and turn on the faucet to drain any air and water in the connector hose. Step 2. Unscrew the faucet connector hose. Use a towel to catch any excess water from the hose. Step 3. Install the feed water adapter to the cold water supply valve and tighten it with a wrench. Ensure the O-ring is seated properly inside the adapter to prevent leaks. Step 4. Reinstall the faucet connector hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it with a wrench. Step 5. Switch the feed water valve to the off position. Insert the 3 8 inch red tubing into the connector and secure the tubing in place with a C-clip. Installation Drain Saddle Step 1. Choose a spot on the drain pipe convenient for installing the drain saddle and tubing. A horizontal pipe is recommended to minimize the dripping sound. Step 2. Drill a quarter inch hole into the drain pipe. Paste the seal pad around the hole to prevent leaks. Step 3. Cut the end of the quarter inch black tubing tip to make a 45 degree angle. Insert the tubing through the quick fitting and the front plate to the drain pipe. Step 4. Install the back plate and tighten the two screws with hex nuts while the tubing remains in the hole. Pull the tubing lightly to ensure it is secure. Installation Drinking Water Faucet Option 1. Bottom Mount Kit Choose a suitable flat surface on the sink or countertop to install the drinking faucet. A half inch to one and a half inch diameter faucet hole is required. Step 1. Clean and dry the area. Step two, insert the front plate through the faucet stem, then insert the faucet into the hole. Step three, from under the sink, insert the rubber washer followed by the wing nut into the faucet stem. Tighten the wing nut to secure the faucet. Step four, insert the white tubing into the quick connect fitting half an inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step five, Connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure to leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. Installation, drinking water faucet. Option two, top mount kit. A top mount installation kit allows for the installation of a standard drinking faucet on the countertop without the need to reach under the sink. It is designed to save time and hassle. Please note that the top mount kit requires a 3 quarter inch to 1 and 1 quarter inch faucet hole. Step 1. Clean and dry the area. Step 2. Insert the front plate through the faucet stem, then insert the top mount plate with the rubber side up. Step 3. Install the metal nut to the faucet stem below the plate. Step 4. Insert the white tubing into the quick connect fitting half an inch deep, then insert a C-clip to secure the tubing in place. Step five, connect the quick connect fitting to the faucet stem. Secure the fitting with a C-clip. Step six, lift and tilt the plate. Insert the white tubing along with the fitting, faucet stem, and the plate into the hole. Let go of the plate. It will drop and latch onto the metal nut via the triangular grooves on both sides. Step seven, Lift the faucet body to secure the plate and nut. Tighten the faucet by turning it clockwise. Measure and cut the tubing. Ensure to leave enough tubing length for future maintenance. System installation. 
Step 1. Install Quick Connect fittings to both ends of the UV light and insert C-clips to secure. Step 2. Connect the UV light outlet to the white tubing from the drinking water faucet. Step 3. Unwrap the system. Remove the C-clip from the system pure port. Measure and cut a piece of the white tubing. Insert the white tubing half an inch deep into the UV light's inlet port. Insert the other end of the white tubing half an inch deep into system's pure port. Connect the UV power connector to the system UV port. Use the cable tie and cable tie mount to the UV light in a suitable position, if applicable. Step 4. Remove the C-clip from the system drain port. Insert the black tubing from the drain saddle half an inch deep into the drain port. Step 5. Remove the C-clip from the system inlet port. Insert the red tubing from the feed water adapter half an inch deep into the inlet port. Insert the C-clip to secure all connections. Installation. Leak stop valve. The system comes with a leak stop valve that can automatically shut off the inlet water from entering the water system when it detects a leak, effectively protecting your home from water damage. The valve is highly sensitive to water. Install it with extra caution, as the leak stop pad inside the valve will easily absorb water and expand. Thus, it will need to be replaced every time it contacts water. Step 1. Find a dry and flat spot under the sink close to the system to place the leak stop valve. Step 2. Measure and cut the red tubing. Connect the red tubing from the feed water valve to the leak stop valve's inlet port. Step 3. Connect the remaining red tubing from the system inlet to the leak stop valve's outlet port. Please ensure tubing is inserted half an inch deep into the fittings. Insert the C-clip to secure all connections. System Startup Step 1. Turn on the cold water supply valve and the feed water adapter. Check to make sure there are no leaks occur. Step 2. Connect the power cord to the system power port. Plug the power adapter into a power outlet rated between 110 and 240 volts. Slight vibrations are to be expected as the water pump starts. The third stage status light will begin to flash in blue. This indicates that the system is performing an auto flushing. Once the system has been flushed, the status light will turn solid blue. Please note that the system automatically performs auto flushes for 30 seconds after 24 hours on standby mode. Step 3. Turn on the drinking water faucet and let the water run for at least 5 minutes or until the water is clear. The first stage light on the system will flash blue when dispensing. Shut off the faucet when finished. The system is ready for use. Please repeat this step each time the filter is replaced. Filter Replacement RO500 4F series are four-stage reverse osmosis water filtration systems. Each filter has a different role in the water system and has a different replacement schedule. The system has an automatic filter replacement warning and alarm function. When the filter is near the end of its service life, the filter life indicator will flash purple, and the system will warn the user by beeping when the faucet is on. When the filter reaches the end of its service life, the filter life indicator will turn red, and the system will alarm the user by beeping when the faucet is on. To replace the filters, first shut off the feed water valve and turn on the drinking water faucet to release pressure in the system. Then unplug the power. Remove the exhausted filter or filters by twisting it clockwise. Use the included filter wrench if needed. Unwrap and remove the covers from the filter. Use the silicone grease that came with the filter package on the O-ring. Align the filter with the mark on the system and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise to secure the filter. Plug the system power back. Press the SELECT button to choose the filter replaced, then press and hold the RESET button until two long beeps. The reset is successful. Turn on the feed water valve and open the drinking water faucet to let the water run for at least five minutes or until the water is clear. The first stage light on the system will flash blue when dispensing. Shut off the faucet when finished. The system is ready for use. 
Please repeat this step each time the filter is replaced. UV Light Replacement The LED UV unit is designed to have a service life of up to 8,000 hours. If the green LED indicator stops lighting up while the rest of the system is operating normally, this may suggest that the UV unit needs to be replaced. When the UV light's lifespan ends, the second and third lights on the unit will flash red, and a buzzer will beep for 10 seconds. To replace the UV unit, first shut off the feed water valve and turn on the drinking water faucet to release pressure in the system. Then unplug the power. Disconnect the UV power connector from the system, followed by the inlet and outlet connectors. Ensure the correct water flow direction and install the new UV unit onto the connectors. Reconnect the power to the system. Press and hold the reset and select buttons for five seconds to reset the system. The buzzer will beep twice, and the second and third lights will reset. Congratulations! Your iSpring RO500 4F Series Reverse Osmosis Water Filtration System is now ready for use. You can now enjoy clean and refreshing water from home. Please refer to the user manual or contact us with any questions. Thank you.